everyone welcome back to my channel and i'll be talking about the differences between the n95 respirator face mask and the normal surgical face mask it's right for you which are you supposed to use which is one that you're supposed to use because they have their advantages they have their disadvantages and they have their benefits and this merit so <music> Now, comparing a surgical face mask and a N95 respirator, there are differences in this mask, and it is not everybody that is supposed to be using it because the pictures I've been seeing a lot of pictures, everyone going about wearing the N95, even not in the hospital. That is not right. I'm going to be giving you details of who is supposed to wear an N95 and what the N95 is for. The N95 is not for general public, it is majorly for the healthcare workers because they are the ones that are exposed to aerosol producing. Um, in fact, the N95 is a respiratory protective device and it is designed to achieve a very close facial fit and very efficient filtration of airborne particles on the face. Note that the edges of the respirator are designed to form a seal on around the nose and the mouth. So there is always a seal and um, also note that the edges also, the N95 the N95 it has a filter in there and it helps to filter at least 95% this is a filter this stuff here this plastic bit has a function and that is the major filter because it helps to filter 95% of airborne particles including large particles and small particles and it can filter to this barest minimum as small as 0.3 micron of particles Normally, before you use the N95 respirator in the hospital, you're supposed to do a fit test, which is a facial fit test, to check if the N95 mask properly fits on your face, because every one of us have different anatomical faces. So doing a fit test will make you know if this N95 mask is for you, and um, you have to be sure you don't have leakages, because um, sometimes leakages can come on, so a fit test is um is, is really important and um when it is properly when it if it's not properly fitted it will not do a fit test and it's not properly fitted leakages can occur and around the edges of the the ideal use for n95 respirator is, it is not reusable i see some people using it for a week going on no 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 that should not be n95 should be disposable after each use especially when you are exposed to an aerosol generating procedure you are supposed to discard the n95 respirator that is why the general public is not supposed to use it because in a public you are not exposed to an aerosol generating procedure unlike in the hospital like like when you're working in the icu and the patients are on ventilator or on cpap or bipap most times they are all aer aerosol generating procedure so that is why the healthcare workers have to use the n95 mask not for normal but wearing it for a long time can cause uh, wearing for long hours can cause a thermal sensation in the body and studies says that it also affects the heart when you wear it for a very long time so that is why most time when you wear it probably minimum two four one to two hours you remove it you breathe a normal year and this is um, a face mask that everyone, everybody can use and um, it is a loose free thing and it's disposable. It doesn't have a fit on the face and nose like the N95 that has a fit on the nose and the, and, and the, and the mouth. And um, it's the major thing that a surgical face mask does is that it provides a physical bar bar barrier between the mouth and nose of the wearer, wearer and the potential contaminant that it gives a barrier between you and any contamination coming in the immediate environment and um there are we all know it as it's called face masks and this is what should be used by general public everywhere or it can also it's also used in the healthcare setting also although the mask is worn properly it should be able to block you from droplets splashes sprays or splatters and also it can also block some germs like vi viruses and bacteria because it varies in thicknesses and it also blocks all these and um also the surgical face mask also helps to reduce exposure of your saliva and other other respiratory secretions to other ones now the surgical face mask also as um, it's effective in blocking large particles of droplets and also splashes and um, it is designed though it is not designed to block very small particles which the n95 does the n95 is designed to block the tiniest microns and the tiniest particles so um most times particles that um 
that, that they're transmitted to cough and through sneeze or some certain medical procedure, the um, surgical face mask can actually protect it. And most surgical face masks do not provide complete protection from germs and other contaminants because of the loose feet. And um, surgical face masks should be a single use mask. You don't reuse it, even if it, if it is wet, you don't leave it to dry and reuse. No, you discard it immediately and make sure when you discard it, you ensure your hand doesn't touch the front parts because that is where the microorganisms and the bacteria and the viruses are already on, on the outer part of the mask. So you have to discard it gently into the trash bin and properly wash your hands. That is the major difference between the N95 and the surgical face mask. The N95 is designed to filter the most minute microorganisms, the most minute viruses and bacteria because it's um, as a filter that helps to filter some bacteria and viruses. And it is majorly used by healthcare professionals. It shouldn't be used by public because the N95 helps to filter as small as 0.3 micron test particles. And it should be used in all majorly in a procedure or in a place where there is aerosol producing contaminants that is where it should be used not by just anybody and everybody thank you for watching my video i hope you've been able to pick the difference between an n95 face mask and the normal surgical face mask because they are two different types of mask not should be used by every other person and you should know the type of mask you should use thanks for watching my video Make sure you subscribe to my channel, please. If you've not joined my family, kindly do so. And I will see you in my next video. See your nose, Ruth.